Jason here, back with you to show how we can use the Camera Raw filter in Photoshop. Now, Camera Raw is something that you can really only get to by shooting in a raw file format. And a raw file format is common with any digital SLR uh, camera. And a raw format simply is when you take a picture with a digital SLR, you basically are taking a picture that's all numbers. And then in order to translate those numbers into actual pixels into Photoshop, you open it up as a raw file and the interface in between your camera and your picture and getting into Photoshop, that has to be processed via Camera Raw. And that Camera Raw is an application that comes up before you actually get into Photoshop. The problem is, is that once it's been converted into pixels, you can't go back into the Camera Raw application. So I want to show you the Camera Raw filter, which allows us to reproduce that Camera Raw settings in a way that you can use without having to go back to your raw image. So if you take pictures via your cell phone, okay, camera raw isn't gonna be something that you're going to have immediate access to. But we can use the camera raw adjustments as a filter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert my image to a smart object by right-clicking on the image in the layer. And then you'll notice that we have the camera raw filter. And the camera raw filter is going to come up and it's going to be camera raw. It's just not going to process the image. It's going to be applied as like an adjustment. And it's not an adjustment layer, but it's an actual filter, which is why I convert my image to a smart object so I don't adjust directly on the image destructively. Camera raw is fantastic because there's things in camera raw that you can't do in Photoshop. And one of the things that just tickles me is the ability to recover highlights and shadows. And on more than one occasion, people have said, oh, the image is too dark, the shadows, or it's too blown out. You know what? There's still image in those areas. There's still information in those areas. And using the levels and curves and hue and saturation, we can't get to them in Photoshop, but you can get to them in Camera Raw. And since I didn't take this as a raw photo, I couldn't process it through Camera Raw to show you, but that doesn't mean that I can't use the awesomeness of the Camera Raw filter. So this is exactly what Camera Raw looks like, just as a filter. So now, when I go in and I'm adjusting this image, it's fine, but I would like to really get a whole lot more information out of it. So the first panel that I have here, I've got exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Well, if I go to my highlights here, I can bump up my highlights and I can knock those down. So basically, if I have an image that's overexposed, I can then basically knock down those highlights, okay? And I can also go in and I can basically open up my shadow. So I'm basically doing shadow recovery, okay? So I'm taking that information that's in the shadows and I'm adjusting it, and you can see the front end of the car is kind of dark and I adjust that a little bit lighter. And I always go, and kind of knock down my highlights and bump, or basically I knock down my highlights, bump up my shadows. And then I go into my whites and blacks here and I can control how light the whites are and how dark the blacks are overall and getting that contrast back. Look at that. I mean, that's all come back here. And now that looks really cool. If I do the texture here, the texture is kind of like a smart sharpen. And what's a smart sharpen? Well, if I sharpen something overall, it's just going to add a lot of contrast to it. A texture or a more controlled sharpen is going to look for areas where there's contrast and it's gonna sharpen just those areas of contrast. So it doesn't do the flat color, it only does dust those edges. Clarity is going to help again too with kind of cleaning those areas up and another type of sharpening as well. And then vibrance is something that I love. Vibrance goes in and it saturates the entire image, but unlike saturation, which just really overdrives the color unrealistically, vibrance goes ahead and protects the colors that are already um, saturated, and it helps bump up the other colors that are not saturated. So vibrance is a much more controlled saturation based on what's going on on the image. And you can see that this is an amazing transformation here with the shadow and highlight recovery here by using my highlights and shadows here. And generally what I do is I will, in this particular image, if I knock down the highlights, then I bring up the whites. 
If I bump up the shadows, then I bring down the blacks, which is going to give me a really good contrast. And I also have contrast overall, by the way, too. I can adjust the contrast, too. And I can also adjust the exposure as well. And I can adjust the temperature to warm it up or cool it down overall, which is great. And then I can also tint that, which is going to compensate for the things that I can't do in the temperature here and do that, which is truly amazing. So there are things that I can do in Camera Raw, the Camera Raw filter that I just don't have the ability to do when I'm using levels or curves. And now once I get to this point and I click OK, now I can come in here and I can do any other type of selections and layer adjustments and any retouching I would like with this image. And this is all the camera raw filter. Look at the difference with that. This is amazing. And I absolutely love this feature because it's something that I use so often because I do a lot of uh, photographing with my cell phone of cool parts of cars. And sometimes I don't have my digital SLR. Sometimes I'm just doing this on the fly and I just grab the picture with my cell phone. And that camera raw filter applies an absolutely stunning effect. Great for shadows and highlight recovery and so many other things. If you ever want to go back in, just go to your camera raw filter here, double click on that, and you can access this. Now, there's more than just the shadow and highlight recovery. That just is something that I truly enjoy. Up here, you can go through and you can adjust your tonal curves, which is a curved adjustment layer for your highlights and shadows as well. And you can also go in and begin to sharpen things. You can do your hue saturation and lightness adjustments too. You can do split toning. You can do any type of lens correction, which I don't have any problem with lens distortion here on my iPhone. I can do any type of effects like vignetting and grain here, and then any type of calibration where I can go in and adjust my hue and saturation of all my different highlights and shadows, and then set up any presets. So this wasn't meant to be an overview of every single thing with Camera Raw, but I just wanted to show you just a really simple way of how to do highlight and shadow recovery in an image that is not a raw image, but it is actually a JPEG or a TIFF or a Photoshop file right there. Cool stuff, and that is the Camera Raw filter. Fantastic results.